The U.S. just passed a $10 trillion health care bill. The stimulus and bailouts were almost a trillion each. The U.S. deficit is $13 trillion. And there are hundreds of trillions in derivatives, such as credit default swaps. Yes, it's time once again to move to the next higher unit of measurement, the quadrillion. So what is a quadrillion? A number that large is hard for the human brain to appreciate. You could say that it's a million thousand millions, but that still doesn't really ring a bell. How about a one followed by 15 zeros? Still vague. Even the number one billion is hard to wrap your head around, but relating it to concepts that are common to us can help. For example, a billion seconds ago, our money was still represented by small silver disks. According to the Bible, a billion minutes ago, it was the crucifixion. A billion tightly packed crisp dollar bills would stretch roughly from Vancouver, Canada to Seattle, USA. The examples for one quadrillion are even more staggering and hard to comprehend, so bear with me. If you had 3,000 Earths, each with a population of 7 billion, and put all those people on a big scale, they still wouldn't weigh a quadrillion kilograms. If you stacked one quadrillion dollars, the top of the pile would be inside the sun. It would buy each living man, woman, and child on earth a new car and a three-bedroom house. One quadrillion years is 73,000 times the age of the universe. Should it worry us that the numbers coming out of our financial system these days aren't even possible for us to grasp? Isn't that potentially problematic? Please subscribe so you don't miss my upcoming video, Say Hello to Quintillion, which will unfortunately probably be coming out soon.